Hello, I'm Ruth Ye from Taipei, Taiwan. I'm a Google certified trainer, innovator, and one of the leaders of GEG Taipei. I'm going to answer how do I support students using mobile devices, which relates to communication in Google Classroom. This is so important because we want to make sure that students using mobile devices can communicate well with their teachers and classmates, feel supported through the learning process, and achieve their learning success. Now, I will share three easy tips for teaching on mobile devices, including using the Google Classroom mobile app, capturing work with the camera, and adding other apps such as Google Docs and Google Slides. When we have students who mostly or only use mobile devices to access online classes, teaching students how to use the Google Classroom mobile app is the first thing to do. The mobile app is slightly different from the desktop app in that it is for a smaller screen size and that it supports the functionalities specific to mobile devices, such as the built-in camera and the possibility of sharing between different apps. In addition, students get notifications for stream messages and assignments if both the classroom notifications and the app notifications are turned on. As the classroom notifications are turned on by default, what you have to do is to remind students to keep their app notifications on, which can be done when they first install the mobile app. Tip number two is about capturing work with the camera. Students are now able to capture their work with their phones, cameras, and submit their work to the appropriate assignment. This means that we should also adapt our assignment to allow students to take snapshots of their work, which can be a worksheet, a drawing, or anything the students create. To use the camera, they simply go to the assignment they have to work on, tap on your work, add attachment, use camera or take photo, and they can take photos of their work and attach them right there to that assignment to turn it in. Or students can use the photos they take with their camera app. Then they just go to that specific assignment tap on your work, add attachment, file, and upload their photos to turn their work in. For tip number three, it is strongly recommended that you also encourage students to download as many Google apps as you will use regularly, such as Docs, Slides, and Drive, so that they can be digitally productive. Just direct them to the mobile app store on their devices or provide them with links to do the installation. If the student's mobile device is monitored by the guardians, you will have to communicate with the guardians and ask them to install the apps for their children. Why install these apps? The Google Drive app will enable your students to keep their files in one place and work smoothly across different devices, such as desktops and Chromebooks. Docs and slides are needed if your students have to edit their docs or slides assignment on their mobile devices. In addition, doing this will allow them to work offline when the internet connection is weak. We now know three ways to support students using mobile devices to communicate and work better. Using the Google Classroom mobile app, capturing work with the phone cameras, and adding other apps. Thank you for joining me. Bye.